2017, I'm going to go back, all right? So 2009, 2012, early days of the position statement, lots of controversy around whether the, it was even okay to think about an iPad in a preschool classroom. I'm going to make it that simple, right? This was just, you're, you were robbing children of play, um, we're displacing other things that are developmentally essential for young children. They're going to spend time on the screen, they're not going to do these other things. So those things were percolating in the field. Outside in the, in the world was parent concerns around screen time and how much was enough. So, so we've got this whole um, sense, I think, of angst of concern, of wanting answers, of show me, of prove it to me, um, that was really um, heightened at, at, in 2012. I would say in our work in the Tech Center, it was really interesting because we recognized a moment at which that flipped, where the questions that were coming to us at the end of keynote speeches were not, you know, why should we do this and you're ruining childhood, but we're, help us know what to do with the technology. So I think we took a, a major leap, 2013-2014, um, toward application. Um, I would say in 2017, we are all individually so much more digital and use digital tools every day and can't live without them. So that's a good thing because I can't live without my smartphone, so that gives me a heads up on how could I use the same technology um, in a learning environment. I think we still have questions. I think that educators who are enthusiastic about this are enthusiastic because they've seen real results, they've seen progress for children, they've seen changes in the way they manage their classroom. So we've got evidence from teacher research in classrooms. We're waiting for the other evidence. But I would say it's a much more um, curious about how to do it well environment in 2017 than a should we even be doing it in 2012.